Hello everybody, I thought I'd start this video off with something a little different. Just some audio. I thought I'd do a quick little update on what's happening here at the house. Uh, we uh, did get the house and we're waiting for closing. It's going to happen on the 30th of this month. So we are in the process of just kind of picking up, boxing things up here in the house. Our plan is to, once we go down uh, to the courthouse on the 30th, do all the paperwork and stuff like that for closing. We're going to um, come home, rent a, if not on that day, then maybe the next day, rent a rider truck, come back to the house here, start loading up the rider truck, and then start moving everything to uh, the new house. Once we get everything out of the house into the new house, out of our house now into the new house, uh, then we'll be working on the outside stuff like getting our patio furniture, um, the swing set, trampoline, and get all that stuff moved up, moved out there. Then start working on the stuff in the shop. Chances are I'll probably just take the stuff out of the shop, load it onto my truck. Got a few people will be helping me out. And uh, probably just pretty much bringing it to the new place and dumping it off in there because our primary goal is to get everything away from here, there, as fast as we can uh, without burning ourselves out too much, then start to uh, just deal with everything there. Uh, so I'll be moving everything out of the shop, uh, getting everything there, and then coming back here, taking down the shop. It might take a week, two weeks, not really too sure. Uh, we want to move fast, but not to the point to where you know we burn out too much, and then we're just kind of sitting there at the new house, all burnt out, not doing anything. So it, <laughs> it's one of those things. But yeah, so the update is we're going to be closing on the 30th, and uh, then we'll be going on from there. I will be doing videos of the move, you know, packing stuff up, unpacking stuff, you know, showing you guys. Uh, just the move in general. I won't be uploading that onto this channel, the T-Man's Go-Karts channel. I won't be doing those videos over here. Uh, I'll be putting those up on a different channel and I'll make an announcement before I do that, before I decide which channel that stuff's going to go up on. Uh, chances are, uh, the way I'm seeing it now, it's probably going to go up on the T-Man's Builds Network channel and that's probably where I'm going to be putting that stuff at. So, uh, that channel is going to be my play channel uh, where I mess around with stuff and editing and you know things that I want to experiment with. I'll probably be using the T-Man's Builds Network channel uh, for that kind of stuff. But anyways, let's get right down to the nitty gritty here. Uh, I want to show you guys something that some of you don't know about. I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't know about. Um, let's pull this thing up here. Now, a lot of you know what this thing is. It is your uh, little navigation uh, pull-down menu that drops down from the corner down the left side of your screen. Now, if you look way down towards the bottom, you'll see the Browse Channels uh, section. Now, if you click on that Browse Channels section, It'll bring you over to YouTube's uh, uh, channels, you know, a bunch of uh, the popular YouTube channels that are going on. What you'll see up at the top there, best of YouTube, that is something that YouTube started uh, last year. What that is, is it is a section of YouTube that competes with the networks out there. Some of you guys have gone around and read stuff that's been on uh, uh, Comcast and uh, Social Blade, you know, and YouTube is actually starting to list itself as being a network uh, to compete against the other networks. Now, what you're looking at up at the top there, those are the channels that YouTube has created uh, to aggregate their system the same way networks do. Now what an aggregational network is, is it is a network that pulls in content 
under its own wing, you could kind of say. Um, this is YouTube's way of doing it. Now, YouTube already takes a cut. Well, here, let, let me just uh, explain it a little bit better. What those channels do is they are auto-generated by YouTube's algorithms based upon topics that are used quite frequently on the platform. Uh, you can look at the top and you see that there's gaming, there's sports, um, there's film and animation. Uh, they, those channels were created by YouTube's system. There's something else that YouTube's system also creates and that's topic channels. Topic channels are channels that are auto-created also, but what they do is they pull in videos uh, from other people and put them all underneath their own channels. Now, it's completely legal for YouTube to do this, and honestly, it actually helps people out when YouTube does this. So what YouTube does is it goes out the system goes out and finds a specific type of video that would coordinate with a topic channel. It pulls that video into the channel and YouTube also claims the views that that video has. So for example, if somebody had a video out there about animation YouTube's system would go out, find that video, pull it in underneath an animation topic channel. The channel owner, the person who made the video, gets to claim the views, and YouTube also gets to claim the views. It takes all of these views from all these accumulated videos, puts them together, and then that is the clout that YouTube uses to compete with networks that's how these channels work. Now you can get into, if you go up to the top, you can see the search. Well if you go up to that search and you type in anything, let's say we type in, oh, okay, yeah, mud mower. Mud mower dash topic. If we were to type that in the search results, it'll show us the channels that YouTube has created, YouTube's platform has created, that has Mudmower as a topic. If you were to subscribe to one of those channels, what happens is, is that when you, when they find a video that is related to that topic and they pull it in, it gets sent out to you, everybody who subscribed to it. So Mudmower is a topic. Now, I also did go-kart topic. Now I've known go-kart topic has been around for a while. I actually subscribed to it a long time ago and you can see that I'm subscribed to go-kart topic and off-road go-kart topic. Um, I'm subscribed to both of those channels and uh, I'll leave those channels down in the description so you guys can just jump right over to them and subscribe because what these channels really are for is that it kind of saves you the headache of going out and trying to find videos that are related to something that you're looking for. Uh, they've got torque converter topic, they've got uh, just a bunch of stuff. Anything that could be a topic, YouTube system has already generated it. Well, except for hot, sexy redheads, you know, they don't have that one. I already looked. But if you're into other stuff, like let's say mini bikes, there we go, mini bike topic. That's also a topic, also. That's a channel that's that's been generated and pulls in videos about mini bikes. Kind of like how the search engines work, but these operate in a different fashion. These are pulled into the channels either because of the topic, because of the way they titled their title on the video, or because of their metadata or tags. And like I said, any topic out there you can think of, say, oh, here's another one. How about solar panels or solar panel dash topic? That's a good one too. You scroll down through there and you'll find all sorts of channels that YouTube has created with the topic solar panel. Yeah, so lots of good stuff there. And like I said, you go down to browse channels and it'll take you directly to that place uh, on 
YouTube system. And you have to remember that whatever topic that you want to type in and you want to look up, you'll have to you'll put the title in and then dash topic. That's how you want to fill it out. So in closing, everybody, I'm going to get on out of here. Hopefully you guys have some fun on that with that stuff. And remember, please jump down and subscribe to the two go-kart channels that are listed down below this video. And I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. Hello, guys. One more thing I'd also like to mention. I've noticed that I got a spike in views over this week. Um, if some of you new subscribers could let me know on where you heard about my channel from, that would be great. Uh, I'd like to know where the sources are coming from because sometimes there's information in the analytics that just doesn't, just leaves me with no answers. So if you could let me know on how you heard about my channel from or where you heard about it from, just let me know. Uh, I want to know what's working for me and what doesn't. So I'd like to welcome you all to T-Man's Go-Karts stuff. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.